I'm going to use an example of using shockwave therapy for tendinopathy. In this case, it's a Kelly's tendinopathy. So shockwave therapy, or more accurately, extracorporeal shockwave, produces an acoustic wave, a sound wave of energy, which goes into the body and then has several physiological effects. And what we're doing here is we're using it for its effects to change the healing mechanism of the body and also to reduce pain. So this is the shockwave machine, and on the end we have our our shockwave head and essentially this is a little bit like a gun in that you have a hollow tube with a metal bullet in here and this goes up and down and as it does so it strikes the end of the unit and that produces the shockwave um, energy. It couples onto the body and as I place that onto the skin the shockwave will go through the skin and into the patient's tissues. Um, we use a coupling medium to avoid any form of friction onto the, um, onto the skin. And we've got two variables that we can set um, in terms of healing and then the third that we will also use. So the first one is the pressure and that's measured in bar. So it goes from you know, about 0.5 right up to 3 or 4 bar, so 1 bar being 1 atmospheric pressure. Then we have the number of pulses in a second and that's called the frequency in hertz and that will vary from something like 6 or 8 hertz up to about 20 hertz and you'll hear the sound in the machine changing at that point. And then we have the total cycle time, and that will be in the number of pulses, so typically perhaps six or 700 pulses, up to 2,000 pulses in total. So that gives you the total amount of energy going into the body. So let's just listen to the machine itself to start with when I turn it on. So I'm going to pick um, a fairly low frequency and you can hear that a little bit like a drum if I pick a higher frequency it starts to speed up a little so to start with we use a, a fairly high frequency with a low pressure and that has a pain relieving effect so a numbing effect and that is a little bit like the warm-up to the treatment, if you like. I'm just going to get some, some gel to put onto the skin. So the gel is just our coupling medium, so it doesn't have any medication in it. Okay. So, low pressure, high frequency to start with as a numbing effect. I spread the gel on the skin, I hold the unit low down, so there's a rubber clasp here to hold the unit. I then support the patient's leg, so we'll pop it on, and you can hear it quite fast to start with. I'm lifting and lowering the machine, and you can hear the sound fading as I do so. So at the moment I'm treating the side of the Achilles, so the lateral aspect of the Achilles, and I can also treat the back and the medial aspect. So once I've done that, I can then increase the pressure and then reduce the frequency. So a different sound and a different amount of force going in. So I've, my pressure now is one and a half bar and my um, my frequency is 8 hertz, so different sound on the machine. And as you're doing this, you can feel the pressure wave going through. So if I put my finger on the other side of the Achilles, I can actually feel that pulse going through. So the total treatment will be approximately 10 minutes where we've got um, perhaps 2,000 pulse um, shock waves um, in total. That then leaves the Achilles 
prepared in terms of physiology um, and in terms of pain relief and we would then do our rehabilitation and depending on the type of condition we're using we may do rehabilitation before or we may do rehabilitation afterwards but we wouldn't just use the shockwave in isolation so we've seen that it's particularly effective for chronic tendinopathies and most commonly used for the Achilles, for plantar fasciopathy, for patella tendon pain and also for greater trochanteric pain syndrome, so uh, pain around the greater trochanter of the femur. So that is our shockwave therapy.